WCLU news coverage of the 2022 primary election is brought to you in part by Walbert Trucking in Glasgow. Are you looking for a new career where you'll be a part of a family-owned business for over 50 years? Walbert Trucking is a trucking company based right here in Glasgow. With Walbert Trucking, you'll get full benefits, great pay, and 401k. And you'll be home daily. Unlimited possibilities await you. Apply today and become a member of the Walbert Trucking Team. 106 Sean Lane in Glasgow, 651-6784. Welcome to today's program, Mr. Ben Knuckles. You are running for Barron County Magistrate in the 5th District. Uh, welcome to our program today. How are you? Good. How are you? Doing well, doing well. So lots of things to talk about in the way of magistrates races. Uh, District 5, we could talk specifically what's going on there. Uh, but first, let's get to know you a little bit. You know, I'm sure plenty of people know who you are, but what about those in District 5 that might not know you? Uh, I'm a young... Barron County graduate of 1999. Uh, I've lived in District 5 for about my whole 41 years. Um, I um, we own and operated construction and um, family dairy and uh, just a pretty well tied up day-to-day -day -day basis. All right, so sounds like you have a pretty big, uh, you know, presence in the ag uh, industry, Very the ag much. community. Yes. Very good. So let's talk about, um, you know, why you're, why you've decided to run for 5th District Magistrate. Well, uh, main concerns of the, um, of campaigning so far has been road issues. Uh -huh. um, a lot of people has, uh, it's the main thing they've spoke about is highway um, corrections. And I've talked and worked with our county road department. Um, some of the guys that are close friends and they done big things within the last year of um, owning their own blacktop equipment and, and doing new things. So I think we can do a lot of things in house now and make improvements on that part. Um, as far as the agriculture, you know, we've got farmers traveling hundreds of miles in a day's time to, to sell their product. And uh, I think we've got uh, a main source of transportation right here in Barron County as a railroad that we, we could accommodate to you. You know, we do some things like that. Yeah. Sure. You mentioned a part of uh, traveling, you know, part of traveling uh, as far as it goes with the ag community, whether they're selling crops, whether they're selling, um, you know, for instance, our beef industry here in the county, you know, uh, having to take those cattle to certain facilities in order to harvest yes, um, and that sort of thing. You know, many candidates talk about the inavailability of those sorts of things. Yes. Um, when we think about magistrates, I've heard that through various interviews already. Um, when you think of a magistrate, you think of roads. That's, and exactly. that's something that you mentioned there. Um, obviously, we need good roads. We need that good infrastructure uh, because we all we, we don't want to drive on a bunch of you know beat up roads. And particularly in the county, uh, those roads sometimes deteriorate a little bit faster, yes, sir. Um, even if they're not necessarily driven on as much but we have heavy machinery on them a lot. Uh, sometimes there are certain wheels that aren't exactly rubber that are going across them. Real, right. um, you know, it, it's various uh, types of things going on. Uh, when you think about being a magistrate, and first of all, clarify for folks where the 5th District is in the county. The 5th District is from um, 252, um, from Allen County all the way to Park City, uh, joining Park City and up through the airport and back around. Right. So it's a Lexington Drive area. Yeah. So that, that western part, there's a little bit of that western part, southern part of the county yes. there. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. um, so we've talked a little bit about District 5 issues, things you are uh, considering or thinking about. On a county-wide level, from the magistrate seat, you're dictating a lot of different things. Um, you know, trying to make decisions on the budget, trying to make decisions on, um, you know, how we can recruit industry. Pick right. something uh, on a county-wide level that you'd like to maybe talk about and uh, how, how you'd like to go into it as a magistrate. Well, um, on our agriculture and industry, you know, we travel many miles for our 4 acres and FFAers to show um, livestock. Uh, there's no reason we shouldn't have a, a, a commercial facility here to accommodate um, exterior events, concerts, you know, um, livestock shows, truck pulls, whatever, you know, wants to be held right here in the uh, county and city limits, you know. So it's, um, I see a lot of uh, potential there. Sure. As a younger man, you know, you, you think about um, 
you know, recreation is not just limited to those who are younger. It's not just limited to um, any sort of demographic. I think everyone wants some level of um, ability to, you know, have something to do. Yes. Um, you know, we have ample opportunities for folks to be outdoors in Barron County, and certainly making those areas a priority is a big deal. Uh, but there are certain limitations to that. You know, we have state-owned property that isn't exactly under the jurisdiction of the court. We have even national property that's under the jurisdiction of other entities. So I understand that. But thinking about uh, moving forward, you know, we serve, we certainly want to service our constituents um, in a rational way with money and services. But what about giving them something to do? How, how does the court fit into that? Yeah, yeah, yes, they need to have their hand in everything that comes in as far as a... Um, income you know and uh, profitability to our county sure so. absolutely um so in district five obviously uh, we're interviewing you for the primary election because you do have an opponent uh, as far as getting through the primary first yes. and then on to the general in hopes of securing that seat there um in 30 seconds or so why are you the right pick for the democratic nomination well i'm a very approachable person i've yet to find anybody that i can't conversate with um and i know you know, my background in leadership and, and the family-owned businesses, uh, I know numbers, you know. I can uh, I can work money. I do a daily payroll, and I do balancing and purchasing for our companies and business. You know, I know the backside of, of uh, growth and, 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 uh, and leading leadership. Absolutely. Well, we appreciate you coming in today, participating in our interview process. You know, it's certainly good to be able to meet you and hopefully for folks listening and watching to be able to get an idea of who Ben Knuckles is well, uh, when they're looking on the ballot uh, for the May primary and, and they see your name there, they'll be able to put, you know, um, either your ideas or your face or something with your name and make that connection. So, again, we appreciate you participating in this and best of luck. Thank you.